One of the deepest drives of human nature is the desire to be appreciated. The longing to be liked, to be held in esteem, to be a sought after person is fundamental in us. Once, a poll was taken among some high school students on the question, what do you most desire? By overwhelming majority, the students voted that they wanted to be popular. The same urge is in older people as well. Indeed, it is doubtful if anybody ever outlives the desire to be well thought of, to be highly regarded, or to have the affection of his associates. The basic principles of getting people to like you need no prolonged and labored emphasis, for they are very simple and easily illustrate their own truth. However, the soundness of these principles has been demonstrated in innumerable times. Practice them until you become expert at them and people will like you. Number 1. Learn to remember names. Inefficiency at this point may indicate that your interest is not sufficiently outgoing. A man's name is very important to him. The feeling of not being wanted or needed is one of the most devastating of all human reactions. To the degree to which you are sought after or needed by other people, will you become a fully released person? Number 2. Be a comfortable person. So there is no strain in being with you. Be an old shoe or hat kind of individual. Be homey. The fact is that popularity can be attained by a few simple, natural, normal and easily mastered techniques. Practice them diligently and you can become a well-liked person. Becoming a comfortable person that is one with whom people can associate without a sense of strain. Of some persons, it is said, you can never quite get next to him. There is always a barrier that you can't get over. A comfortable person is easygoing and natural. He has a pleasant, kindly, genial way about him. Being with him is not unlike wearing an old hat or an old pair of shoes or an easy old coat. A stiff, reserved, unresponsive individual never meshes into the group. He is always just a bit out of it. You never quite know how to take him or how he will react. You just aren't easy like with him. Number 3. Acquire the quality of relaxed easy goingness so that things do not ruffle you. The feeling of not being wanted or needed produces frustration, aging, illness. If you have a feeling of uselessness, if nobody needs or wants you, you really ought to do something about it. It is not only a pathetic way to live but is serious psychologically. Those who deal with the problems of human nature constantly encounter this problem and its unfortunate results. Number 4. Don't be egotistical. Guard against giving the impression that you know it all. Be natural and normally humble. Still another important factor in getting people to like you is to practice building up the ego of other persons. The ego, the being the essence of our personalities, is sacred to us. There is in every person a normal desire for a feeling of self-importance. If a person deflate your ego and therefore your self-importance, though you may laugh it off, the person has deeply wounded you. In fact, he has shown disrespect for you. And while you may exercise charity towards him, even so, Unless you are finally developed spiritually, you are not going to like him very well. 
Number five, cultivate the quality of being interesting so that people will want to be with you and get something of stimulating value from the association with you. If a person elevates your self-respect and contributes your feelings of personal worth, he is showing high esteem for your ego. He has helped you to be your best and therefore you appreciate what he has done. You are grateful to him. You like him for it. Number six, study to get the scratchy elements out of your personality, even those of which you may be unconscious. The so-called scratchy elements in your personality may be qualities which you have taken on through the years. Perhaps they have been assumed defensively or may they be the result of attitudes developed in your younger days. Regardless of origin, they can be eliminated by a scientific study of yourself and by your recognition of the necessity for change followed by a process of personality rehabilitation. Number 7. Sincerely attempt to heal every misunderstanding you have had or now have. Drain out your grievances. Sincere and forthright interest in love and for people. Perhaps if you cultivate this basic trait, other traits will naturally develop. Number 8. Practice liking people until you learn to do so genuinely. Remember what Will Rogers said, I never met a man I don't like. Try to be that way. John Wolf, the isolated personality, the retiring individual, these people suffer misery which is difficult to describe. In self-defense, they retire ever further within themselves. Their ingoing, introverted nature is denied the normal development which the outgoing self-giving person experiences. Unless the personality is drawn out of itself and can be of value to someone, it may sicken and die. Number 9. Never is an opportunity to say a word of congratulation upon anyone's achievement or express sympathy in sorrow or disappointment. Do not assume that the reason other people do not like you is because of something wrong with them. Assume instead that the trouble is within yourself and determine to find and eliminate it. This will require scrupulous honesty and it may also involve the assistance of personality experts. It is very important to cultivate the quality of being natural. Usually, that sort of individual is large souled. Little people who are much concerned about how you treat them, who are jealous of their place or position, who meticulously stand on their prerogatives, are stiff and easily offended. Number 10. Get a deep spiritual experience so that you have something to give people that will help them be stronger and meet life more effectively. Give strength to people and they will give affection to you. To be master of the art of popularity, be artless. Strive deliberately after popularity and the chances are you will never attain it. But become one of those rare personalities about whom people say, he certainly has something and you can be certain you are on the way to having people like you. These certain formulas and procedures which, if followed faithfully, can make you a person whom other people like. You can enjoy satisfactory personal relationships even if you are a difficult person or by nature shy and retiring. Even unsocial, you can make of yourself one who enjoys easy, normal, natural and pleasing relationships.